Creo 11 enhances the enclosure volume feature to quickly calculate an orientation optimized minimal bounding box around part or assembly geometry. This can be very beneficial for use cases related to packaging, such as the calculation of a minimum size of the packaging box. In addition to the previously available enclosure box calculation based on a predefined coordinate system orientation, you now have the option to calculate the minimal bounding box based on an optimized orientation. The resulting box characteristics such as the volume and XYZ dimensions in the optimized orientation are displayed under the properties panel. Check the create box parameters option to create feature parameters for these four values as well as a coordinate system aligned to the calculated orientation. The feature now supports very flexible definition of references to be included or excluded. By default, the entire part or assembly is referenced. Here, we remove the default selection in the bounded objects collector and only add references that we want to be considered. In the illustrated case, we incrementally add more quills into the selection. And you can see how the bounding box immediately updates as the selection is changed. We can also select the entire part to be the bounded objects collector and specify geometry to be excluded. Adding the body to the excluded objects collector shrinks the bounding box as it only considers the remaining quills. Note that there are options available to globally exclude all quills and or construction bodies. By default, quills are globally excluded. For the purposes of this demonstration, we previously unchecked this option. Further options include the ability to apply either a uniform or non-uniform offset to the box surfaces, as well as regeneration options. The bounding box orientation calculation is performance optimized, but could in some cases still take more time than you wanted. In this case, you can perform an initial optimization and then switch to the freeze orientation option. This allows you to then continue to work on the design benefit from faster regeneration of the enclosure volume feature and still see the bounding box in its original position which might still represent a good approximated orientation unless design changes have a more significant impact to the outline of the model. The moment you invoke at a definition of the feature it automatically updates. When loading models containing enclosure volume features created in previous Creo versions, they will be upgraded to the new version of the feature when entering the edit definition workflow. You can also calculate a minimal bounding box for an assembly. Again, you can see how the bounding box updates as we exclude individual subcomponents from the calculation. In the assembly context, the Automatic update during regeneration is not available and you have to invoke at a definition to update the enclosure volume feature. These new capabilities in Creo 11 enrich the enclosure volume feature to significantly increase user productivity for packaging related use cases.